Hey guys, just woke up. Got a couple things I want to share with you guys, little updates. First and foremost, thank you for 1,000 subs. I'm never going to stop saying thank you, so I appreciate all of you guys. The other thing is I broke my Hydra record. I'm about to share it with you guys. And the other last thing is the Amazon Prime code drop giveaway for the Raid Shadow Legends uh, Amazon Prime uh, collaboration. If you're interested in that, all you have to do is drop a comment down below. And this Saturday when I stream, I am going to uh, pick a random winner, a ramen, a uh, ramen, a ramen, a random commenter down below. All you have to do is comment. There's no specific thing that you have to comment down below, but go ahead and drop a comment on this video. And this Saturday when I stream, uh, I'll pick a winner and you have to be in the discord. If you're not in the discord, you will not be able to be eligible because I need to be able to DM you the code and verify that you are who you say you are. Anyway, here is the team, guys. Uh, someone in my clan by the name of Johnny actually shared a team like this. The difference is he had Lydia in a hex set. Now, because I didn't have a hex set or a curse set on Lydia, I couldn't make it work. So Lydia is just sitting in a shield set because I use her for wave clearing. Instead, I have Michinaki. Michinaki pairs very well with Rathalos, and I'm just going to let this thing run a little bit further. It's a full auto team here. 426 so far we're about to hit the turn meter and um yeah I, I just wanted to catch this on camera and maybe we can even see damage by rathalos let me let me stop right here i've been testing out some damage rathalos is actually a little bit underrated in my opinion i feel like i wrote him off a little bit too soon but he's actually been pumping out quite a bit of damage i saw him hit for three million on one hit okay so let's check this HP burn is here. There is no decreased defense. What does he do here? 603. Obviously, we decrease damage and our decreased defense if weakened would help out quite a bit more. I initially tried him with Artac, but Artac is actually not that great of a HP burner when paired with um, Rathalos. And that's because Artac activates his HP burns. So. Rathalos ends up missing out on a lot of damage and I'm just kind of manualing here since we're getting a little bit closer to the end um, But you could just throw this on auto If you wanted to I'm trying to see Rathalos damage Okay, so we have decreased Let's try to get this here I'm trying to hit this here this head here with decreased defense and weaken Man, it's got the hex on Let's see what we can do Can Rathalos get a turn in? Let me see Okay, here it is this second ability will ignore 100% of the boss's defense. So let's see, we also are positive affinity. We've got the increased attack and the increased crit damage. Let's slow it down and see. And we've got 1.17 million. Not the biggest dam damage I've seen. Like I said, I, I just saw 3 million earlier. It just, it's been happening randomly. And that is due in part to his fifth move. So if you guys aren't uh, fully made aware of it by now, Rathalos has passive in which the fifth move that he does will have an increase 200% damage. So I, I think when I saw that 3 million hit, what had happened was it was like everything lined up. Decreased defense, weakened, um, Helm Smasher proc'd, and his fifth ability, his passive proc'd as well. But yeah, so this is the team. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the end here, and I'll show you guys the ending result damage. Again, thank you guys for a thousand subs. If you want to be part of the Amazon giveaway, I'm giving it away this Saturday. And all you have to do is just drop a comment down below on this video. That's it. All right, so we're approaching the turn limit count, the turn count limit, and there it is. It's a little unfortunate, just shy of 500, but it was pretty nice. So. We are a normal, the Energizer Bunny cannot be stopped. He just kept on giving. He's the bunny that keeps on giving. He was just boosting his turn meter left and right. And uh, he was pairing well with Inquisitor Shamael because every time um, he would attack, Razzlevarg would have his turn meter boost. And then sometimes whenever we were up against the head that um, placed spheres, Inquisitor Shamael would pop off. And then that would proc sometimes Lydia's mastery to counterattack. Um, or it's either passive or her mastery, but anyway, she attacked 
the same head and then Inquisitor Shamir would take that and then use his passive to counterattack. So they, these two were uh, doing pretty well together and then Michinaki and uh, Blade Master obviously were putting in work as well. This team didn't die. Uh, nobody was dying, everybody was staying alive. But again, uh, like not even 500 million and that's unfortunate. You know what, while we're here, let me just go ahead and share this team with you. Because I think, um, I think some of you guys would like to try to build this team. Um, so let's go ahead and keep this. Again, shy of 500 million. Please don't do this to me. I'm not leaving. I'm not. Okay, there it is. It's going to stay. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so there's the team. We'll start off by looking at Razovarg. And these are not optimal builds, by the way. Like, I haven't, I haven't um, completely optimized everything. So there's still room for improvement. There's still a lot of room for improvement. I might build my second bunny for another team another hype team but here he is in this is the uh razzlevarg looks like he's the bunny from snow white he boosts turn meter it's a three hitter with his a1 his damage is based on attack and speed the leech was one of the things that helped to keep everybody alive his a3 will increase speed increase accuracy but mostly it's the increase speed and his passive will increase speed up to 100 for every increased speed placed by this champion. Brimstone, it's the five-star blessing Brimstone. It was part of the path of event uh, that they did a while ago. So this is protected and that helps benefit. So he's going super fast. On top of that, he's got Relentless. If you ever build this team, you'll often see the bunny is just taking turn after turn after turn on top of having his turn meter almost full all the time. He's just taking extra turns left and right, mainly going for speeds. So we have Divine Speed um, and Relentless. And you can see here, like, I could change this to more speed, and we could get more, what do you call it, empowerments and uh, enchantments on as well. Mostly kitted out, in, kitted out in damage. We have almost 5k attack, 220 speed. Generally, I'd like to go at 240, and then 282 crit damage. Not 100% crit rate quite yet, but we're, we're, we're getting there. If you want to see the masteries, here are the masteries. Got Giant Slayer, counterattack masteries on him as well. And I know that we had Michinaki in there, so let's go for Michinaki. More Relentless, so that he's proccing more turns. He's got the HP burns on his A1, and also the passive, whenever an ally attacks an enemy under Hex, he has a 50% chance to team up and join in the ally attack. So him paired with Rathalos is pretty nice because he places the HP burns and pretty much the entire uh, enemy team is going to be burned up. Decreased attack, decreased defense on the A2, and then his A3, he attacks twice. The first hit removes all buffs in case I'm not able to get the block buffs, or if the, um, the head of mischief that steals buffs takes buffs from me before I can get to it. He's going to remove those buffs, and then the second hit will place the hex, so then we can target the head of mischief. Got brimstone on him. Yeah, so here are pieces of gear. Of course, there's room for improvement as well here here are the masters We're taking war master and taking master hexer as well here are the stats for michinaki i would like him to go faster 220 speed minimum for my damage dealers but that this is fine lydia she's in a shield set and that's because i could not find or i don't have good uh, cursed gear quite yet i don't have hex set the only hex set that i'm able to build is the one on venus and i don't want to be switching back and forth uh, every time i do clan boss every single week so we're keeping her in a shield set until I can farm up some good uh, hex gear. But here are the pieces of gear. We're prioritizing speed and accuracy on her, but uh, don't really pay attention to this shield set build. Again, if you're going to build this team, it would be better if you had cursed set, then maybe you could take out Michinaki and pair him with a different burner if you have somebody like Sishia. Any AoE HP burner seems to do very well. Here are her stats. There you go. Again, speed, accuracy. He does have a four-star blessing. He's in lethal for extra ignore damage. These are his um, stats. 5k plus, 214. I would like him at 220. 100% crit rate, 300 plus crit damage. Uh, a lot of that comes from the blessing that he has in Heaven Cast, so he's doing even more damage with Heaven Cast if you haven't seen Scratch's video on that. I did put him in ignore damage gear, so he's got the lethal gear with the cruel. Here are the pieces of gear. And some of you guys might say he already ignores uh, enemy defense on the A2. Why did you put him in ignore defense gear as well as Helm Smasher? 
Well, first off, Helm Smasher does not have a cap to damage, but Giant Slayer, or sorry, War Master does have a cap. 60% chance, 10% uh, of, or 10% of the target's max, or 4% of the target's max HP, which usually works out to like, I don't know, 60 something K. It's not that high, but when Helm Smasher procs, then I'm able to do those numbers like 3.3 million damage on his A2 here and there. And the other reason is because his A1 and his A3 are not ignoring enemy defense. So that's why I have him in lethal and cruel. His passive here does more damage when you're uh, attacking somebody with HP burns on them and every fifth skill de deals 200% more damage. So pair him with the A HP burner. Again, HP burners, uh, like AOE HP burners are probably the best thing for you to, to pair him with. Um, here are the masteries. I don't know if I can show you this, but here are the masteries in case you want to see it. So is this one, Inquisitor number three. So let me show you guys this. Uh, I think these were kind of almost random sets. So he's in protection, bolster, and immortal. Uh, let me show you pieces of gear right there tabbing through real quick coming up on your screen look at that quad here are the stats going mainly for um doing some uh, you know i don't even know what i was doing here I, I should probably rebuild this do you guys have any suggestions for inquisitor shamail's build i do want him going faster it's nice that he's 100 percent crit rate with some crit damage not enough attack on my end because if you're critting over damage that isn't that high then you're kind of missing out yeah but he's mainly here to deal with the head that places fears because he's going to counterattack, so your entire team isn't missing out on turns there are the masteries on there are no masteries on him in context i should probably put masteries on him and if you guys have any build suggestions let me know the first one i have is in relentless that does pretty well and the second one is in guardian that is also doing pretty well it's pretty fun to have um ally protect with uh heals and uh, I've done I've done Toxic Set Inquisitor Shamael and Savage Shamael. Those are pretty good as well. Arbiter. Arbiter is here mainly for the increased attack, the turn meter boost, and the heal that she does with her A2. So increased attack and then heals by 25% of their max HP if they have 50% or less HP. And the turn meter boost from her A3 and revive if you need it. But mainly I was just getting the turn meter boost here as well. And then this kind of helps here and there. The AoE decrease buff duration and then weaken also helps. But may her main purpose is just to go fast. So uh, obviously prioritizing speed. This is the same Arbiter that I use for Arena. Here are the Masteries. They're taking the timely intervention so that if somebody's HP does drop, she gets a boost. Here are the stats. Kind of slow, honestly. But I did have to break this Arbiter drop her speed significantly so that my cardio can go faster for to do hard fire night.